Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Speed Japanator 3 channel for another uh, episode of the MotoGP 22 Nine Season Story Mode. And we're going to be uh, racing uh, in episode number 12 at the second U.S. Grand Prix, which is the very historic Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. And then also episode number 13, we're also going to be racing at the Misano World Circuit to, um, at the uh, San Marino Grand Prix. So it will be the US, second U.S. Grand Prix Indianapolis, and then the uh, episode number 13, the Misano and the San Marino Grand Prix. If you missed the previous one, I did so poorly in the uh, Donington Park uh, in Great Britain, but I did great at the Reno uh, circuit at the um, Czech Republic. Be sure to uh, watch that on live streaming on twitch.tv slash speedchickenator3 and then also on youtube.com slash speedchickenator3. If you want to leave your links and comments uh, down below, be sure to do so and then add on subscription to my channel and the followers link on the Purple Heart and the... Um, and also the briefcase down below to subscribe and follow up to my channel on live streaming on twitch.tv slash speedchampionator3. And then uh, click on the red bell to your right if you want to check on youtube.com slash speedchampionator3. And I would love to have more su subscribers into that channel and uh, add, add on more to it because it is growing and growing every single day. So uh, keep on the subscribers and keep on growing on youtube.com slash speedchampionator3. We got three uh, episodes left to go for the nine season story mode, so this is going to be the second U.S. Grand Prix. Uh, hopefully, I improve better here at the uh, Indianapolis because I'm just trying to test out the, the, the 2009 uh, bike, so that way I'll be well prepared for the next two seasons in the Pro Moto Grand Prix uh, career mode when I start that in my third season. And then hopefully both of these circuits uh, will appreciate me very well. It, it's going to take me uh, a little bit of a uh, do. A little bit of a duking uh, to get used to the Indianapolis circuit because I'm always well on the backwards uh, road course in Indianapolis. I've already won a NASCAR race here in Indianapolis, and uh, and I also won the Xfinity race. I haven't won any Indy car races over there, but if that game comes out next season uh, for Indy car, hopefully, uh, if everything uh, cooperates and improves with motorsports gaming, I'll be sure to I'll be doing the Indianapolis road course. And we don't have much episodes left to go. And we just only have three more, so we're going to do uh, the second U.S. Grand Prix at Indianapolis and then the San Marino Grand Prix at Misano World Circuit. So let's get running. Here we go. So the first episode, we're going to do, uh, we're going to try to unveil our Captain America. What goes around comes around. So we're going to play as Jorge Lorenzo. Jorge Lorenzo. So let's see how he does here at the uh, U.S. Grand Prix Indianapolis. I feel sorry for this morning I couldn't do the uh, Singapore Grand Prix because I was very busy uh, because I, I have been uh, working my butt off all week long, you know, going to places and being busy and everything else and, um, and I wasn't really capable enough but uh, I will be wide awake and I will do the Singapore Grand Prix Formula 1 race uh, tonight so we're going to start off with MotoGP, we're going to do the nine season story mode, then once I get that uploaded, then I'll be doing episode number nine for the second Spanish Grand Prix of the Catalonia. Lorenzo shows up at Indianapolis as Captain America. A show of confidence. And he plays uh, Captain America, so let's see if we can uh, unveil his car for Jorge and Lorenzo. Maybe we'll try to get that Captain America helmet. We could maybe use that for the uh, Coda race in the third season of my Team Jacob Career Mode. And the third season of my uh, Career Mode, uh, excuse me, my Career Mode in MotoGP. He makes a flying Then he goes a little too fast. All right, so we're doing it now with uh, Red Rossi. Pressure, pressure, pressure. It's all on him. You've got nothing to lose. Go for it. Get past him and push. All right, we're underway here at the historic Indianapolis Circuit. Okay, a little bit of a boo boo. I'm all right. I, I just didn't turn it off to the left too much. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I know there's uh, two corners here, but uh, I got to get used to uh, going forward here in Indianapolis. I, I have experience going backwards. Man, I had way too much speed going into that turn. I think I was, I was supposed to be breaking there. Yeah, I was supposed to be breaking there. Yeah, I, I was supposed to be breaking there. Like I said, I just got to get used to uh, going to Indianapolis on this uh, forward circuit. Rossi fell out, and I take the lead. Did you see that? Rossi just fell out. Now I have a four-second lead. Now, now I'm just going to go in the... Uh, oh, 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 man. Too, too much speed. Oh, oh, too much speed. I'm supposed to be breaking over... I'm supposed to be breaking, like, over here. To, this time, come on. Oh no, I just had too much braking going into the turn. I, I, I broke, I broke really hard, but then, uh, Okay, one more lap. Let's see if we can make it a beauty. Man, it's just getting way too much braking. These 2009 bikes, it, it, it's not really braking really hard. It's very hard to steer these bikes.
I still need to get used to that braking right there. Man, I have the thing on two, but uh, I don't know why it's not. Uh, I don't know why it's not breaking. Man, that is a very heavy turn. See, if I break early, then I'll be able to do it. It's very tough here in Indianapolis. Maybe on the next two episodes, I'll be able to do it right. Yeah, but it's the first time I went uh, in Indianapolis circuit into a forward uh, situation. So we did okay in the, uh, in the first episode, but I have to do it right in the next two episodes. So that was a good job. So that means I might unveil that uh, Captain America uh, unveiling for uh, Lorenzo. But we, have, we have to do it right over here because this is the first time I ever uh, been racing forward uh, on the forward circuit here in Indianapolis because... Um, you know, um, the Indy cars and NASCAR race in the backward circuit. I am experienced on that one, but I am not experienced in the forward circuit. This is like Indianapolis in reverse. This is fantastic for me and for the team. You see what happened. The championship was almost impossible before the race. Now it's difficult, but it's possible. There are two more places available on the podium. Alex De Angelis is chasing his best result of the year. Meanwhile, national pride is at stake in the fight between Texas Tornado Colin Edwards and Kentucky Kid Newton Hayden on the second Ducati. All right, now episode two is uh, catching a chance. It's Nikki Hayden. So Nikki Hayden has to finish fourth place. Three hours up the road from Owensboro, Kentucky. It's between you and Colin Edwards for the final place in the podium. No way is that text to get the people to get home back here. Man, I, I did slow it down there, but the, let's restart the challenge because uh, I didn't slow it down there. I slowed it down the harder, but then uh, the DAL uh, is a little bit screwed up. cut it a little bit too close.
and this timing is going to be a little bit better. All right, let's see what we can do in the final lap. Let's do it better. Right, I think I have too much speed. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Just in case, because I, I think I had too much speed on that one. That was a good job that time. That was the first time I ever uh, that, that was the first time I ever completed the forward track here in Indianapolis. I love this track. I love this historic racetrack. And that was the fastest lap that time with a minute 41.356. And we did a pretty good job at the uh, second episode. But now we have one more episode left to go. So good job by Nikki Hayden for uh, capturing uh, third place. And that's all he needed. So we're doing a good job here in Indianapolis. <laughs> now the last episode is going to be the kid in the tornado. Can you win today? Maybe not, but you could take second. All right, now look, the kid in the tornado is going to take second place. Oh, oh man, and always the first time here. Pulled on them too much. And that was contact. Oh man, we got a big crash. Did you see that big crash? And another big crash. So two big crashes right there, and I end up here going into second place.
I'm always having trouble with that term. It seems to be that I'm not about breaking early. I just went too far. It's going to grab a little bit too much acceleration. It's okay, I'm in second place. That's all I need to be. I'll let Lorenzo win, and then uh, he'll cover up in second place. So. to the grass a little bit. All right, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to hit the brakes a little bit more. Come on, come on, hit the brakes. Why are you going a little bit too wide? Hit the brakes. So you hit the brakes like that, but that way I can make a full turn. tolerate that. I should have had second place if, uh, if I didn't go too wide on that turn. So I settled for a second place finish. Uh, but it was a little bit too hard that time in episode three. I don't understand what happened if that, that I went a little bit too quickly, but we did finish the U.S. Grand Prix at Indianapolis, and, uh, and we did a, a good job. That was a nice job here at the, uh, in episode number 12 of our uh, nine-season story mode at Indianapolis. I really got to get used to it. If I'm going to run this uh, thing in the ex expedition race, uh, I'm going to have to uh, do well on the forward circuit uh, at the Indianapolis Road Course. I am good in the backwards uh, Indianapolis Road Course. And now we go and move on to the Bassano World Circuit, in the, uh, and this is episode number 13 at San Marino. I hope to, to make a better start and uh, try to go front, but uh, unfortunately, Danny overtake me and also Tony at the first corner. And uh, Jorge also at the end of the first lap. So I was front and uh, I was uh, a little bit in trouble with, uh, with a lot of fuel, but uh, not uh, confident at 100 percent so I decided to, to take my rhythm to put the right exit on the tires and uh, start to push.
Okay, smart yeah, donkey. Let's see what you got there. There is no rest during incident at your home track. And this is the doctor. Now they're going to be playing this Rossi again. Oh. They got to fix these restart challenges uh, in the ninth season story mode. I know we're almost to the end of it. I know we're only doing one season of it, but, but I lost control of it, and then the, the, the bike was just. Uh, but it wobbly on me and then I fell down. And I know the circuit very well. Come on, get around Perosa. Come on, get around my teammate. Oh no, I think I'm gonna get a little bit too fast there. Yeah, I got way too fast. I think I will. Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting, I'm still getting way too fast. I think I might have to hit the brakes uh, here, I guess, because I'm on three, so that means I'm not on two. I know the circuit well, but the... the wide there, but I'm still leading about six car lengths ahead of our Perosa.
Barroso man, and I made contact with Barroso, and that's why I fell down. I love riding with the Rossi Doctor, and he's the greatest of all time, and he does a good job. Nice job. We got a one second advantage. Minute 37.798, and we did a nice job here in episode number one, and he was a smart donkey uh, for, for the last four laps. That was nice competitive racing. I know he bumped me a couple of times, and I fell off a couple of times, but that was great racing at San Marino. But I do have experience at this track, too. All right, now we have one more episode. Now we have to keep our dream alive. It's his day. It is not his championship. Not yet. Get past the drive side and take second. These are vital points. Keep the fight alive.
hands. <laughs> I should have not turned like that. to go and then we finish up with this uh, episode. Nice job. That was a very good job here in episode number two in Masano World Circuit, and we did it. We completed both of our episodes in about 42 minutes, and that was a nice job uh, with these two episodes. Great job at Indianapolis and great job in Masano. Remember, I do have experience here in Masano World Circuit, so I know how to run the track very well. Yeah, I didn't have little or no experience in, in the Indianapolis with these bikes. I do have experience in the backwards uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And now we're taking a look at the full result, and uh, the doctor did it again. Yep, Rossi wins at San Marino. I knew that it was going to be a difficult race. Male had the only weekend in the space. After 13 of 17 races, on a charge and on a roll. Has a All right, we're going to have to uh, skip this one because that will be for episode number 14 in our next episode. So we're going to exit to the main menu. So what a good job. And now we unveiled uh, new libraries now available. We have uh, Valentino Rossi's Misano Library and the Indianapolis Library for Nikki Hayden. So that was a very good job in these two episodes of doing uh, good in Indianapolis and doing very good at Masano World Circuit in, in San Marino. 
So that means that it locks two more uh, episodes right there. So we have two episodes left to go in our um, nine season story mode. So Estrel in Portugal. So it will be uh, the, the Estrel in Portugal and then the Phillip Island in Australia. So those are going to be our next two episodes coming up. We have four, uh, two more episodes left to go. And then we can round out the uh, grand finale. So we're almost to the end of our nine season story modes. This is episode number 14 of Estro and Phillip Island. We'll be on the next run of our uh, nine season story mode of our MotoGP 22 uh, nine season. And then we do the grand finale. So th we have uh, only two more to go. We got uh, Estro, Portugal, and then Phillip Island in Australia. And then the final two episodes, the grand finale of the nine season story mode is Sea Pain Malaysia. There's only two episodes on that one. And then we round out the season finale, the grand finale at Valencia Grand Prix in the third Spanish Grand Prix. And then we come up with the full results uh, in our epilogue. And then we go to the epilogue uh, episode, and then that'll be it. There'll be no more of the uh, nine season story mode, and then we can continue on with the career mode on the MotoGP 22. So that was great racing at the uh, U.S. Grand Prix in Indianapolis. I know I had a lot of fallouts over there. I did good over there, but I still have to get used to it. I still need to get used to these uh, these kind of old tracks that the uh, that MotoGP does not even run at all the, uh, during the uh, season. But, you know, they used to run it back in the past, but they don't run it over there anymore. So uh, that will do it, and that took us about 46 minutes. Not too bad for uh, nine season story mode and we did a great job in the second US Grand Prix in Indianapolis and then Misano we did excellent so uh, and thanks everyone so much uh, for watching on the Speed Tape and 3 channel and we'll catch you later to do um, episode number nine in our uh, Moto 3 series we're almost to the halfway point of the uh, Moto 3 uh, series of the Moto TP because we're going to race number nine and it will be at the uh, second Spanish Grand Prix at the Barcelona de Catalunya in Spain so thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you then, and take care everyone. Great episode for 9 Season Story Mode. And I can't believe we're, this is almost over.